Hi, this is Aaron, and we're going to downgrade the iPad from 4.2, which is the current beta, uh, to 3.2.2. And the reason I want to do that, or you may want to do that, is it's buggy, as it's a beta. And um, I can't run Netflix. It, it seems to crash. I know some people can, some people can't. Uh, and then uh, ABC doesn't work at all. There, it's just There's some apps that just, just don't work well. So uh, you can see here's the beta. It is the multitasking OS, so we'll go ahead and set that down for now. Uh, now go to your Mac or PC. This works on both, and the instructions are very similar for both. So go to Google and your favorite browser, and type in Tiny Umbrella. And the first thing you see is probably the firmware umbrella. You're going to click on that, and you're going to download your your version for Windows PC. There's even a Linux version and uh, open source. So if you want to check that out. So download your version. Oh, and PowerPC, which is which is cool for older Mac users. Go ahead and uh, download it. I've already got it here on the side. So I'm going to close the web browser. Now, if you uh, have not done so, make sure you back up your iPad first and uh, then go ahead and proceed with this just because you don't want to lose anything uh, that you may have saved here. Uh, you may not be able to restore it, but at least you'll have a copy of it. And uh, if you can do this, you probably can figure out a way to uh, look at those files. So let's go ahead and open Tiny Umbrella because what you can do with this right now is, if you haven't updated, grab your SHSH file, and this will do that for you. Once it opens here, I don't know what's taking so long. There we go. Uh, you can save your SHSH file and. Uh, when your device is connected so do that and then uh, go ahead and close it so now that we've got tiny umbrella what we need to do is let's go ahead and just open iTunes and once we do that uh, we've got to do a few things to the iPad and we'll do that so here's the iPad <clears throat> here's the iPad and what we want to do is put it into restore mode and or recovery mode and to do that there's a couple ways the easiest way that they don't talk about a lot on the internet is hold this down hold the sleep wake button down power off your device there's a lot that will tell you to hold both and make it reboot you don't need to do any of that so once you've got that powered off go ahead and hold down your home button plug in your cable connect it to your computer hold it down just keep holding the Apple comes on because it knows the plugs there and you'll get connect to iTunes and immediately iTunes will say iTunes is detected in iPad in recovery mode go ahead and click OK click restore restore an update you know you're gonna you're gonna wipe everything and now it's gonna extract the software and install this and then we're going to get an error so this is gonna take a moment and uh, while we wait for this, just sit here and wait. And uh, I wanted to try this out, the new beta software with the new Apple TV, because uh, you should be able to stream. But since it's such buggy software at this point, uh, and not re you know released to general the general public basically, unless you're a developer, uh, what you can do with it actually is stream your content from your iPad to your Apple TV, and you'll be able to do that with your iPhone also. Uh, the problem is you can't do that now properly. What I did is I streamed it and it sort of worked, but what happened is I got the audio out of my TV and the video on the iPad. It wouldn't send the video to the TV, so needs a little bit of work. You know, it worked in the keynote that uh, Steve Jobs gave, and I would assume it's just a matter of time and, you know, they've got the bugs worked out, whatever's going on there. It is a beta and uh, November's when it's supposed to come out, so it is a bit early. So varying, uh, verifying iPad restore with Apple takes a minute. Once it does that, it will begin to install the software on the iPad. And uh, we'll just wait. It's verify verifying and its progress bar is almost done. It's getting there. The verifying iPad restore is probably going to fail at this point. or it should rather 
It takes a minute. It's restoring. It says restoring iPad firmware again. We'll see what happens. Once it fails, we'll open Tiny Umbrella. Just so you know, if you didn't figure that out already. We'll open Tiny Umbrella, and what we'll do is there's a button there. There we go. It says it's been restored to your factory settings. Now, what it's going to do, click OK. The iPad's going to reboot, and it's not going to work. And because it's not going to work, that's where that program Tiny Umbrella comes in. There we go. This is connect to iTunes. iPod sync complete. It's connecting to iTunes and uh, let's see I have some music here. Now <clears throat> pretty interesting. I didn't have to use Tiny Umbrella. But let me show you the end of it. Or actually, let me show you the end of it. Very cool. So, there's one more piece to this that you might run into, as you might be doing this in the future. You might run into it not verifying the software with Apple. And in order to fix that, I've done some other videos in the past, you need to modify your host file and point them to Cydia or uh, other server. So check out those other videos uh, to learn how to do that. I mess up on the Windows one, but it gives you the basic idea. I, have, I don't use Windows regularly except for at work. so. Uh, I can't believe it just worked like that on my iPad. Uh, normally, it's supposed to fail and be stuck. If it's stuck, like I said, we're going to open Tiny Umbrella and we're going to kick the device out of recovery. That's it. Once it's in recovery mode, uh, it, it sometimes it gets stuck. If you do that, click Kick Device Out of Recovery and you're done. That's it. My uh, iPad's at 3.2.3, or I'm sorry, 3.2.2. .2. I'm going to restore all the stuff back to it. And that's pretty much it. So um, thanks for watching, and uh, thanks for subscribing. Give it a thumbs up if it helped. That was really cheesy, but whatever. Give it a thumbs up if it helped, and uh, we'll see you next time.